This week's parsha, Matot Masay, the double portion, is a very long portion. It's the longest double portion in the whole Torah that we read on a Shabbat. It describes the 42 travels of the Jewish people over the 40 years that they were in the desert, from Egypt through Sinai, traversing the desert until they get to the borders of the land of Canaan. When you read some of these, some of them have very negative connotations. They describe, for example, Kivrot HaTava. They describe how the Jewish people complained to Hashem and how so many were buried because of their desire for meat. The plagues that struck the Jewish people on some of their journeys. Remembrance of the Egel Azahav, the sin of the golden calf. What the Torah is telling us over here is that life is a journey. It's not about the destination. We must never forget the travels that we have taken in our lives to get to the point where we are. The Torah is teaching us that in order for a person to succeed, they can't forget about their history. They can't forget about how they got to where they are today. And therefore, as painful as it is to recount all of these 42 travels, Moshe nevertheless, in his swan song, at the end of his life, when he's ready to say goodbye to the Jewish people, he reminds them of the travels that they took. But more importantly, he also reminds them of their failures. When we look back at our lives, yes, there were times when we failed, but we have to realize that even the failures were merely a way for us to step up, become better, and move forward. The lesson is not to get bogged down by those failures, but to let those failures be the impetus to help us move forward and become better. Shabbat Shalom.